vitamin D resistant rickets. Vitamin D resistant rickets is X linked dominant rickets. And sometimes it's called familial hypophosphatemic rickets. It is the most common form of inheritable rickets. There are four or five things about this racket that make it popular in examinations. One of them is an X-link dominant racket. It is familial. There will be a family history of bowed legs and short stature. 100% of the patient's daughters will be carriers or have the disease. It is the most frequently encountered rickets in the United States. And it is caused by mutation in the FIX gene, P-H-E-X. So where did the FIX came from? It's caused by mutation in the phosphate regulating endopeptidase homolog x length. So that FIX gene is associated with decrease in phosphate in the blood due to impaired renal tubular reabsorption of phosphate in the kidney. This increased phosphate excretion through the kidney is secondary to increased fibroplast growth factor 23 level. At one or two years of age, Patient will present with short stature, bow legs, genoverum, widening of the physis, and with a family history of this disorder. So you will get labs, and in the labs, the most striking thing you will find is the phosphate is down. The alkaline phosphatase will be high because the turnover of the bone is increased. The calcium will be normal. And because the calcium is normal, the PTH will be normal. The PTH responds to low calcium. The 125-hydroxy vitamin D is normal or low. Phosphate is low, decrease, because the renal tubule is unable to retain the phosphate, leading to hypophosphatemia. You will find that the renal function is normal. The BUN and GFR are normal. What is the treatment? The initial treatment is a medical management to increase the phosphate level and maintain vitamin D levels. So you will treat it by phosphate replacement and the high doses of vitamin D. The adequate medical treatment will improve bowing and increase height and decrease the need for corrective surgery, which is done to patients with progressive bony deformities. The patient would need to be referred to a pediatric endocrinologist. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.